Hi everyone, welcome to Fair and Forge Knife Works. This is Chris here. And in this video, I wanna do a little how-to on how to maintain and uh, disassemble and reassemble your Massdrop X Fair and Forge Falcon. So the things that you're gonna need right off the bat, you're going to need a T6 screwdriver. You're going to need a T8 screwdriver. Right? And optionally, you might wanna have a little lighter you know, a Bic lighter will work just fine. And this will be used to, if there is some residual thread locker in there that's being stubborn, we can help it out with a little bit of heat. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, right off the bat, you know, one of the most basic issues that, that we have and we get contacted with is people will say that it feels a little sloppy and it's really off center. So this knife here, so we can show you how it is off center, right? And when we open it, right, we're good with the lock, uh, but we do have side to side blade in the blade. So you can see that close in there. So what that means is things aren't pulled together where they should, the blade has a little more wobble uh, than it should. And this one is a very, very easy fix. All you gotta do is tighten the pivot screw down a little bit, right? Uh, whenever I tighten the pivots, I like to keep it in the open position because between the lock and the blade itself, you will sandwich the pivot in place and keep it from spinning, if it's even going to spin. So in this one, all right, we're just gonna give it a little tweak. There it is. If it is spinning, you can apply a little bit of lateral pressure to the blade, it continues to pinch it. So how do we feel? Check this, it's good. I actually got this a little bit tight so we're just gonna back it off, All right? And this is is your personal preference on, on how tight you want the pivot. There we go, so that feels better. Right, how do we do? No side to side play, boom. Now that we got through, you know, just tightening the pivot screw, we're going to take this Falcon apart. We're gonna clean out all of the internal components and then we're gonna put it back together. So what we're gonna do is flip it over and we're gonna start taking it apart from the lock scale. Right on the Falcon, there is the pivot screw and this top screw on the pocket clip that hold everything together. So step one, we're gonna go ahead and pop this pivot screw out. Right now in this case, right, as I'm spinning, the pivot is spinning free a little bit. I can tell that there is thread locker that has set very strongly inside of here. And this is where the, the lighter comes in. So all I'm gonna do is just heat up this pivot screw, just right on the pivot screw, just a little bit. I mean, that should help break up the thread locker. Next, I'm going to pinch the blade between my thumb and forefinger, being careful not to burn myself. All right, and as we're doing that, we can then loosen this screw up. See, now it's coming out. Boom. Next, we're gonna take out this top screw by the pocket clip. Right, and on this one, especially with the smaller drivers, you're gonna make sure you wanna push into the screw this way while you're turning. So I'm gonna push in and then back it out. Pull this screw out. Right, you can take the entire pocket clip off if you want, but it's not necessary on the Falcon. We'll just go ahead and remove everything. Okay. Now, at this point, as soon as you disengage the lock, right, you'll feel the lock scale pop up a little bit, and then we just gotta work it out. Right, things are fit very tightly in here, so it might take a second to to break it out and loosen everything up. There we go. Lock scale off. All right, now we have access to all of the internal components within this knife. All right there on each side of the blade, we have a steel washer. We have a, we have ceramic bearings. All right, you're gonna keep those together. And remember that those are off of the lock scale. All right, take our blade apart. Then here on the face scale, we're gonna remove the stop pin. All right, remove our pivot screw, pop that through and out. All right, and then we'll take out the bearings and washer. 
Right? If it's stuck in there a little bit, you can just wedge it out. If you have a magnetic tip screwdriver, that'll help too. Pop that out. We're keeping our bearings and washers together. All right, now in this case, it's optional if you'd like to. You can take the backspacer off. Since we're just cleaning, it's not necessary. Uh, and you'll find most of the time that your pivot area and your bearings are what collect the most pocket gunk. Um, this one is actually fairly clean. You know, if you have a lot of debris in your bearings, all you really need is a paper towel. Just clean them out. Uh, get most of the, the dirt and dust and assorted other stuff to clean it off. And if your pivot is gunked up with things, just give it a wipe down. Windex, you know, whatever you want to to clean it. All right, in this case, you can see my blade is all sorts of greasy and fingerprinty. So we're just gonna do a little Windex on it. Off, off screen. Right, Windex is good for cutting through uh, the finger grease. Right, clean it up. Yeah, give it a little polish with the microfiber towel. Okay, so now that we're cleaned out, everything's ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this. So just like how we had the face scale down when we started disassembly, we're gonna start from the face scale and build our way back up. The first step that we're gonna wanna do here is place our pivot back through, all right? Then we take our washer, that goes down first. The bearing goes over it. We are gonna take our stop pin, place it back in before we place the blade in. And then one more thing before we put the blade back in place, we're gonna take, uh, we have the uh, knife pivot lube here. We also like to use nano oil. Uh, it's, they both are very effective, take your pick. Uh, for this video, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put one drop of the knife pivot lube on the pivot. Just a drop. Right, we don't need to overly grease it out or anything. You just need a tiny little lubricant in there. Once you have the lube in, we're going to place the blade in. And then it's going to go bearing first. Then washer. And then from this point, we can go ahead and place our lock scale. Making sure that everything lines up nicely. You can hear it clicking into place there. Now we're going to put our pivot screw back in. All right, same thing. We're gonna make sure that we're applying force this way while we're turning it. Now I'm spinning a little bit, so same thing. I'm gonna apply a little bit of lateral force to the blade. All right, and that allows me to snug up the pivot. Let's check it. How does that feel? Pivot's a little tight, not falling shut, but we'll, we'll address that later. So now we're gonna attach the pocket clip and uh, put in our through screw to make sure that the back end of the knife is secure. All right, this one, same deal, pushing in towards the knife while I'm turning it. Pushing in towards the knife. Right. Double check our alignment, tighten everything down. Okay, now that the knife is together, everything, the lockup is nice. What we're gonna do is now lock tight our pivot screw in place so that it doesn't loosen up over time. Um, it's really up to you guys what sort of thread locker you use. Um, we we go with the red Loctite. Um, we found that it's it's the best over time. So which same thing, I'm gonna take one one small little drop, just a little bit. Because if you wanna take this knife again, you don't wanna completely coat all of the threads. And we're going to run that back in. There we go. And then as I'm tightening this, I'm tightening just to where it feels snug, but not tightening it down all the way. 
All right, and the way that you know for sure is if you open it, it should fall freely like that and you should have no side to side play in the blade, which this is feeling good or centered. With the knife fully assembled, Loctite in place, there's one final step to really smooth this thing out and make it wonderful. And that is to place one small drop of lubricant on the detent ball itself. In there, on the steel insert. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna place the one drop, boop, right on the detent ball. Run it through a couple times to make sure that that lubrication is covering the entire track, right? And then it's nice and buttery and smooth. And that's all there is to uh, taking apart and reassembling your mass drop fair and forge falcon. If you guys like this, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing more videos, more how to videos of disassembly and cleaning and maintenance as we expand out our product offerings we'll, we'll be doing more of this hands-on type thing so have a great day everybody come back for more videos and if you have any questions go ahead and let me know in the comments thanks guys stay awesome